Oh my gosh. Well, I knew that was gonna happen too, but I still jumped. brand new episode of Doctor Who. I am going to be watching and reacting to the Doctor Who New Year special, Revolution of the Daleks. Now I already know a couple things about this episode going into it. Jack is back and Ryan and Graham are leaving. So we're just gonna have Yaz and the Doctor from now on, I guess, unless they introduce another companion. I don't know, we'll find out. Let's react. A long time ago, far, far away. It's like Star Wars. 29, that does feel like a long time ago. Did she poison him? Well, this is a dark beginning. <gasps> John Barrowman. Oh, it feels good to see that name in the credits again. Revolution of the Daleks. He's using the Daleks as part of the police force against protesters. Oh, that's messed up. I keep forgetting the doctor's in prison. Oh, it's like she's peering into my soul. That was uncomfortable. There's a, a Cyberman? A weeping angel! It's a nude! Number four, Cricket Drive. We're proud to say. Harry Potter! That's the TARDIS! Oh, it was a house, that's right! Mate, we've been back ten months. Ten we have to go on with our lives. Months. Whoa. Take a look at how much tax all your companies pay over here. Blackmail! Politics in a nutshell, huh? The silence! Do they have every single alien here? This is so cool! Oh, this face. <gasps> that voice, that voice, that voice, that voice! Remember this. It's Jack! It's Jack! I am so happy right now. <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, I knew that was gonna happen too, but I still jumped. I feel like it's gonna be super right. gross. It's gonna be like somehow attached to his head or something. Love you. Bye. No! No! Jack Harkness, gold star for rescuing. Nice upgrade. The doctor and Jack back in the TARDIS. You've never had a room. <laughs> the banter. Oh, how I've missed this. Friend of hers on Earth called Rose, but she's trapped in a parallel universe now. They're talking about Rose. I miss Rose so much. For now. We all know what's coming. We're the lucky one, Jazz. This is such a sweet moment. They're growing Daleks. Dun dun dun. Protect his face! Well, like alien style! Oh, oh! Oh, I keep jumping! I know it's coming and I keep jumping! It's home. Yep, he's definitely leaving. So many heartfelt conversations in this episode. Always. I felt like a goodbye. We found them another use. <gasps> You're feeding clone Dalek creatures liquidized humans? <sighs> Oh, oh no, 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 oh no. I'm the doctor. Yeah, you are. Stops the Daleks. Yeah, you are. All of you to the TARDIS now. Let's go. Oh man. So, to handle the Dalek problem, bring in more Daleks. And then figure out how to get rid of those. Cool. What an idiot. Fellow Daleks. I'm not even saying it right. Me and Graham are coming with you. Oh my god, are they gonna yeah, die? With... Are they actually gonna die? When have I ever let you down before? I mean, what are you doing? What is she letting them in for? It's the other TARDIS! That was clever. It worked! And everybody's back alive! So far it's really happy, so I'm concerned something is gonna happen now. I'll call you. Send my love to Gwen. Okay. Aww, Bye. Jack's gone. I think I'm gonna stay here. This is it. He's leaving. So I'll be hugging more. Aww. This is a good goodbye. Way to leave on your own terms. Oh, he's peacing out too. Here we go. I want a bit high with my grandson. Is she giving them psychic paper? That's awesome. This is a really sweet ending for them. Oh, and we're done, really? I thought they'd show the doctor again. Okay. So 
was a really solid special. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I uh, love Jack coming back. The scenes between him and 13 were so good. They felt nostalgic. They felt like they had a lot of chemistry. It genuinely felt like the doctor and an old friend reuniting. I would love to see more with those two, but I don't know that they will do that. Jack has clearly aged <laughs> since the last time and he's not supposed to, so I don't know how much they're going to put him in. The chemistry with the other companions, on the other hand, I still don't love. So I didn't get that emotional when the companions left. They had a really positive ending though. The only other companion that left on their own terms was Martha. Everyone else either got sent to a parallel universe or had their memories wiped or got sent to the past to die. Like nobody else got to leave on their own terms. So that was incredibly positive for them and they got to be together and go save the planet with their psychic papers. So that was cool. Although it was positive, it's not the most memorable because like one of my favorite endings for a companion is Donna's. It is absolutely tragic. And I think that's why I love it so much because sometimes tragic endings are better than positive ones. It's weird, but it was, it's just like so memorable and so powerful. This was just like sweet. You know, it was a sweet ending for them. They got to go off, spend time together. I actually really liked the scene at the end between Graham and Ryan because you got to see how much they meant to each other and their chemistry. And it would have been cool to see more scenes with just the two of them. Like I said, the main issue with the doctor and these companions is there's too many companions and I'm having a hard time feeling the chemistry between everybody because there's just, it's too hard to have unique moments between the Doctor and the Companions when there's so many of them. Although, there was an amazing moment between Ryan and 13 in this episode, which I think was incredibly powerful. Probably one of the best moments they've ever had when they were in the TARDIS and they were just having that heartfelt conversation about how the Doctor feels lost and doesn't know who she is and Ryan felt good being home and that was basically their goodbye and it was really really powerful and I enjoyed that moment a lot. Same with the one between Yaz and Jack. That was a really awesome moment when they were talking about what it's like when the doctor leaves. It kind of reminded me of Jack and Rose for a minute and their like friendship. It felt really great. See what I mean when you have these like one-on-ones they're so much more powerful than the Doctor plus three companions. So I, it's a bummer that we didn't get to see more one-on-ones because maybe I would have felt different about the whole relationship with the Doctor and her companions, but here we are. The Daleks were a perfect enemy for the episode. Not only did we have the mutated Daleks that they created on Earth, but then we had the other Daleks that came in to defeat them. So we got double Daleks in this episode. Oh my gosh, I absolutely loved In Jail when we kept seeing all the other alien enemies. That was incredible. We had the silence, we had the weeping angels, we had the ood. I thought I saw a Cyberman. I could be wrong, but I could have sworn I saw a Cyberman. There were probably others in there that I didn't see. Overall, this episode had a lot of heart. There was action, it was a little bit dark. We had the government trying to create a police state with drone robots, aliens which is a horrible disaster. We had protests. It's all hitting a little bit too close to home, but yes, that was that was intense. But it gave the episode purpose and kind of put it a little bit into reality as well. Honestly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a while. I'm incredibly happy Doctor Who is back and I can't wait for more. Until next time, remember to keep it weird and keep it real. Also, can we talk about the fact that the Weeping Angel's name was Angela? Which is <laughs> just, just, I love it. I love it so much.